All right. So, welcome back to more of Trouble Pets. We hope you people liked our previous video. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And without further ado, let's just hop into our today's video, which is about Red Hat operating system, basic navigation using terminal and basic commands of the terminal. Okay, so it will be kind of a session wise videos. We'll uh, have a session list created for the Red Hat operating system, uh, all the basic information, and it will be uploaded in the chat on the same channel. So, let's just start with it. Now let me show you how to access the terminal on the first place. You can access the terminal with the help of mouse and with the help of keyboard as well. So if you want to open the terminal with the help of mouse, you just right click and open the terminal. That's how you get the terminal via mouse. And if you want to access it with the help of keyboard, you'll click, uh, sorry, you'll type in or press R plus F2. Uh, you'll get a run box in, you will type there G N O M E hyphen terminal okay so that's how you can access a terminal with the help of the run box uh, remember the key it's R plus F2 so now let's just start with our basic commands uh, for the Red Hat operating system now the first command is to show you on the which you user login you currently are in order to recognize on which user you are you can you have to see this sign here it shows dollar which signifies you are on the standard uh, standard user login now if you want to switch to the root user there are two users obviously which is a root user and a uh, normal user or the standard user so if you want to switch to the root user you have to type in the command su which stands for switch user Ob obviously you should know the password for the root user so I will type in my password here and there we go it the sign changes from dollar to hashtag which signifies that you are on the root uh, login if you want to switch back to the standard user you have to type in su obviously followed by the name of the root, uh, standard user which in this case is meet and we are back on the meet standard user so that was our first command the second command will be the cd command now let me show you how cd command works uh, for that i have to go in some okay so I'll open the terminal in this if I want to go in any one of these folders I have to use CD command obviously by terminal so CD stands for change directory so CD space uh, whatever the directory you want to access for uh, in this case let's just take etc so I'll type in etc and enter so you can see here we have entered in the etc directory with the help of the CD command now if you want to get back on the previous command where we were so you have to simply type in cd space dot dot and there we are back on the first place that we were in so that's what a cd command is uh, the next command will be ls command which stands for list command it will show you whatever the things are available on the current directory that you are in uh, there are two extensions for the list command which are ls hyphen space hyphen l which will show you all the information about the directories uh, the information might be uh, read write executable files and all that stuff so this is what the ls hyphen l command looks like the next extension of ls command is ls space hyphen a which will show you all the hidden files if there are any obviously so ls hyphen a hyphen a stands for all files that is including the hidden files so that was the ls command is the next basic command is pwd which stands for present working directory so as you can see here this thing is similar here you can see it will show you your present working directory the next command is uname command uh, uname command have two extensions that is hyphen a and hyphen r now let me show you what the hyphen a is hyphen a will show you uh, the information about the installed operating system now in this case it's linux uh, it will show you all the other stuff all the other information about the version and if it is 64 bits of operating system or not the next uname command is hyphen r which will show you the information about the kernel so that was the uname command now let's just move on to the next basic command which is date command uh, i hope you people are familiar with, with what the date is so it will show you the current date including the day and the month 
now if you want to see the calendar of the entire year in this case it will be cal space 2019 so cal is the basic command now it will show you the calendar with all the 12 months you can see the current month with the help of simple cal command that's that will show you the current month uh, now the last basic command uh, I will show you for this video it will be making a directory now I want to make a directory here named TP so the command will be mkdir space the name of the directory that is TP enter okay the permission is denied because I am not on the root user so you can use the sudo thing no hang on I'm not in the sudo as list let me switch user to the root okay now I'm in the root now I can type in the uh, command which is uh, mkdir space tp there we go so we have made it made this directory now let me show you there it is the tp directory it's right there now if you want to delete this directory the command is rmdir space followed by the name of the directory that is tp and let me show you the directory is gone which will show you that your remove directory is successful so that was the basic command for this session uh, this video of the red hat session so we will try to upload more and we will try to go in depth for the next videos so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you people have seen how to install the red hat operating system uh, if not then you can go to the link in the video description we have uploaded the video for the same so thank you so much guys for watching this video stay tuned for more videos on the same session